to episode six of the Chocolate Bros. Uh, I'm Sam Riley. I'm I'm joined by here Zach. Zach Rupp. Hi, and we have uh, Angel Garcia with us. Angel. Um, so today we have uh, quite a bit of things to talk about. First, we have some upcoming events. Today is the Summer Series in Vegas. In Vegas, yep. Uh, they hit forty people. Oh, is that what the count was? I forty never, people, I didn't see any which is pretty exciting. Um, yeah. I'm I'm guessing that like close to half of the people that travel to the event. Yeah, I know uh, Josh Garner. I talked to a lot. He, I know he traveled from Arizona to go. Yeah, uh, a lot of the California guys. Yeah, I know. Go I know Matt himself. also traveled for it um, from Matt, California. Uh, Rice or oh, Oklahoma? Yes. Oh, gotcha. Um, so that's exciting. We're going to talk about more about that, about predictions for that. But just real quick, I want to get the events out of the way. Um, January twentieth here in Tampa at Cool Stuff Games, we have the Petite Cup. Um, I'm for that. Yes, the prices are really cool. They got like some cool plushies and stuff. The coolest part the is the signed play mats. Wait, they have plushies. Yes. Which ones? Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know, I think chocolate ones? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know, I'd have to Black ask them. But they, they said, <laughs> you know, talk? Okay. They said they have them. Anyway, but signed play mats. I'm super excited by them. I looked at them, they're awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was the, was it the Vincent one and the Cadets one? Or the well, Class like I said, I actually oh. seen those. Anyway, super exciting. <laughs> and then we have one in Kansas City, February 3rd. Uh, all three of us will be going is, is the goal. I've already got yeah. my ticket. Um, that's yeah. at the collector's cash. Uh, Kansas City. Ho- hopefully, you're gonna buy it today. Okay. If everything goes well, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Good. So you'll see us there. Um, that's at the collector's cash. The night before, they do drafting mm-hmm. and standard uh, constructed. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I probably will play constructed to test. I'll probably. Why are we gonna play the actual deck? So they just get one. We'll probably like. I don't know. That's the thing. I, I would yeah, rather just play, play some fun we decks. We should play each other's decks, and then we'll switch to what we're actually playing today. Of. We could do that. <laughs> but <laughs> I have a feeling that me and you will be on the same deck. Um, and then Angel will be on the deck that he's gonna be that he's been playing. Um, so we'll see. Um, I don't know. I, I'll probably play a fun deck and kind of just gauge what the metagame's like there. Right. Um, and just play for fun. Um, so those are the three events that I have that are coming up. Mm-hmm. I can't think of any other ones that we. Right. So also right now going on is the Octagon uh, series. Uh, this is the fourth one. Yeah, right. Four, not time, no, so if you if you don't know, Octagon is a program that you can download and you mm-hmm. upload some image packs and you can play Final Fantasy for free online. It's awesome. It takes a little bit of a, a learning curve. <laughs> All the it's, hot keys. Yeah, yeah, it's not as like fluent as MTGO, for example. Yeah. But there's certainly not as many bugs as MTGO. <laughs> so that is true. Or every bug is a feature. Um, <laughs> so I'm excited about that. I've been playing a lot. Um, I know you just got in your computer, so you're probably. Gonna start jamming it pretty often. Yeah, it's on there, and uh, I think I'm gonna start streaming it. I think yeah. that's a big goal because I want to be able to stream, get a background also. Yeah, I've been I've been streaming, but mostly PUBG. So oh, yeah, well, I'll probably start soon ish. Um, so let's talk about the format. What do you guys think sure. about like the format? Um, I know the Crystal Tower covered that today. Uh, check out that podcast; it was awesome to do. Um, but what do you guys? What, what's your guys' take on the format? Because all three of us are playing in it. Mm-hmm. Right open it. Um, sure. Um, I think it's amazing. Uh, I I love the the way now the monster brings so much new stuff to the to the game. And well, no, uh, no not the Opus Four format. What do you think about? You mean, oh, you mean like the the Octagon okay, yeah. Open? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like who is your opponent? For I example? thought you meant. Hmm? Oh, who is your opponent? Um, do you know what kind of name? Uh, Haywood is his name last Wayne Haywood. Really? Haywood. Wayne, Wayne Haywood. 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 Haywood? 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 Yeah. Oh, right, right here. So they just okay. So they just they just straight up matched you with the guy who went undefeated at nationals. He fourteen owed. Oh, that was it. Oh, yeah. He just fourteen owed yeah. with wind water. Um, is that who he played? Yeah. yeah. This guy right here. Uh, oh yeah, that's the guy who undefeated at uh, yeah. nationals. So <laughs> I, I, I was playing against him. Yeah, and how'd that go for you? Uh, it was rough at the yeah. beginning, <laughs> uh, but I was able to manage. You know, because uh, I was playing Lightning Earth, and your your um, yeah. So um, I create a, a Lightning Earth deck with yeah. uh, Shantotos, Kafka's, and Delita, right? And Delita. Shantoto yeah. is a Lightning card. Yes, so. <laughs> exactly. Kafka so was also a Lightning card yeah. in this deck. <laughs> yeah. And so every time uh, he was playing a big guy, um, I was pretty much uh, playing Idia with all my five backups. Yeah. And Shantoto, I always make sure to. Leave one back up open because total was always going to be in play. Right, right. Um, yeah. So yeah, so uh, I love it. It's like so much fun. That deck is, yeah. uh, I love it. Like I actually want to build it myself and just yeah. play it, you know, for fun with friends and stuff like that. Yeah. How about yeah. how about you, Zach? What do you think about the format? 
Um, well, I've all, all I've seen so far is my work. <laughs> okay. That's about as stuck in this, and uh, it was a little rough of a matchup, I think. And who'd you play? Uh, oh, man. Uh, Alex Wu. Peter um, Alex Wu? He's right. from the UK. Okay. Um, so we had a little bit of a time difference. Okay. There, right, yeah. Yeah. But, um, it was fun. Um, I think my deck choice was a little ambitious, going okay. into like a completely unknown. Did you play the Lightning Fire deck? Yes, I played the Fate Spells deck. Yeah. Okay. Um, has game, uh, for sure. It, I just not gonna play variants, but I, I played subpar. Subpar, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I lost my round uh, to Robert, who top aided the um, the what what the big the big, uh, Winter Cup. Okay. I lost to Robert, who top aided the Winter Cup, who was playing Win Lightning. Was um, he on Win Lightning? He, that he was your prediction. That he guy. was on Lightning, lightning. Oh. and his cards just lined up. So perfectly with mine, um, but it was so fun. It, it, it was a good game. The fact that I was able to play someone from the UK, you were able to play someone from the UK, and Angel was able to play someone from Canada. Cal- Canada. Okay, it's from Canada. Yeah, he's yeah, Canada. his Canada. Yeah. yeah. So like, it's just really cool that we all get to play with someone from other countries. Yeah, I remember he was the guy that uh, bearded collectibles that yes. had a like box like you got put in a raffle or something like that. Yeah. Picked the name. It was that guy that he brought for free to nationals. That that was like why it was like such a great story. Oh, he, yeah. he didn't have to pay to go, it got all paid for him, and he just went undefeated. Just like, That's really yeah, and yeah, he just stopped yeah, that yeah. tournament. And then I actually played that list to the top eight of one K and mm-hmm. that, that that deck was incredible. Yeah. But it's just really cool, like, that we gotta interact and play with these people who are also doing well mm-hmm. on the other side of the world. So these people so the people in the Octagon Open are also pretty well known players that are that are playing very well. Right. Um so it's a ton of fun. I mean, I'm not nice. looking forward to playing yeah. against Vince. I'm not looking forward to having to play against Chris. Yeah. You know, like these are these yeah, are not Toby people. Toby also there. Yeah. He already won. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So I yeah yeah. Well, see, luckily it means Zach lost. So we're in the losers bracket. Yeah, right. We get the, we get the dodge Chris, who I know won, I know Vince won, and Toby won. So yeah, we, yeah, we dodge. I want to play your deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that's the next yeah. thing is when you say his deck, right? I don't think Angel's playing it, right? So what are you playing in round two? Um. Good question, because I'm, I'm, I was thinking about that yesterday, because yesterday we were on local, I went undefeated on the Ice Fire deck, so I was thinking maybe I should try this or not, to go and see how it goes with other formats, you know, other people, different uh, different decks. Yeah. Uh, because most of the time people on locals, they just play water. So right. it is kind of the same thing, so I want to okay. try it with something different. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's cool because water is really strong, but I want to try the deck with something different and see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, like Mono Earth was even my radar because nobody around us plays it anymore. We used to have like what three or four players that played Mono Earth, yeah, and Obis three, Easy, yeah. and now like everybody's in water or they're trying some like ping damage variant, yeah, like, Mono Flyer or something. Yeah, so it definitely caught me by surprise when I turned one Ingus Monk. I was like, all right, let's see where we're at now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and and for those of you that don't know, um, the Ice Fire deck that Angel talking about as well recently won a uh, pretty large tournament, like forty four people in Japan. It uh, runs Genesis and Locke with a ton of ways to hit on turn one. You got Sage, (laughs) Elias, and a Goblin. And then if that's not enough of the (laughs) discard, they're gonna hit you with Sephiroth. Uh, the one the backup that makes each player discard. Um, that's the Kazusa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Like Kazusa. Yeah. Yeah. So it it plays. Does it play Sarah at all? Uh, Sarah. Mm. Maybe it doesn't play Sarah. But anyway, so deck that was called from Japan or something that was called like something Hand Death. Yes, that's, that's, that's the one. That's 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 that. Oh, okay. yes. Yeah, really uh, nice and stuff. if you're looking to beat Mono Water, you could start there. Um, uh, it's really hard for them to beat a turn one Genesis hit you, you discard a card, or turn no. one lock hit you, you discard a card. Turn no, two, oh, oh, every time. I'm pretty sure you go. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go in all in every time. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, I, I, every time I uh, start a game, I try to go first. So I try to win the dice, and if I go first. What I'm always looking for is funny because I don't care about anything else. I just want to see my Genesis in my hand and one Sage. And I play Genesis for a turn, haste, damage, discard one card. Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah. back up too, that's better than just, yeah. Like, yeah. just yeah. a one time yeah. gobbler of Elias. Well, well Elias will, will, will net the same advantage. <clears throat> right, you draw, draw that card. Yeah, you don't have the one CP. Yeah, but right, you're playing cards like Lock. So you can, you can go turn one Genesis into Sage, right? Hit them with Genesis, turn two Lock. Play a goblin, give it haste, make them discard yeah. their entire rest of their hand. Um, it's insane. I did also. I, I did also first turn Genesis to um, one of the matches yesterday. Um, got the damage. One he discarded one card, and he decided to play 
backups. So I was like, okay, that's a mistake. And then next turn I played Tifa, Haze. So two more damage for free and discard another card. So I was feeling good. I was like, okay, I'm good now. Three yeah. damage, second turn. Okay, let's go. And then the after that I played the, the Cloud because uh, Genesis, of course, uh, Final Fantasy VII. Mm -hmm. So he will do seven, uh, seven K to four. Oh, the so remove, yeah, the new, cl new Cloud and remove yeah, this is So or so, like, most of the deck so is pretty much Final Fantasy VII. So, so Tifa says. You play uh, the backup Zach to get back your. No, it's, it's <laughs> Zach Ford. Uh, Sephiroth, Probably. Ford, Shelk, Tifa, and uh, Genesis. Yeah. So you have a lot of sevens. Okay, I didn't know if you were playing the backup Zach to get back because it's back no. soldiers. I remember trying to get back the Genesis yeah. like that. No, because I played three and I don't. I never had the. Uh, no. I never had the need to get one back. Yeah. Like, it's, um, the deck is too fast. It's, it's fast. That's out. the thing. It's okay. as crazy as that sounds. Yeah. Yeah, the deck That's is just too fast for it out. Um, Interesting. But it is, the deck was really good. If you're looking to beat the deck, I uh, we split top four. I didn't play against Angel in the Swiss, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I handed it to him with Ice, with ice Earth, right? So it was rough. vanilla. Oh my god, vanilla. So um, which yeah. actually brings us to my next topic: uh, the breakout cards. Sure. Um, for for the older sets, vanilla is on my radar, um, particularly because for the newer set, Delita, uh, the three drop Delita from Opus Four is on my radar. The interaction between the two is not just cute, it's actually really, really good. Especially like Ash might be hard to deal with that type of deck. Right? Very hard, yeah. damage based or mm -hmm. right. nice a battle limit thing, right? Yes. So yeah, if you have Ash on the board, it's like I don't care how big it gets, break it. Oh, by the way, exile uh, or break a little bit of next time. Yeah, and traditionally yeah, also it. Ice struggles with four drops. And so you have you can sack any of your four drops. Mm -hmm. Um also so you could you know, maybe like a, a Terra who's used up her her, her like abilities, you know, she's not as good right now. Or you have you like the ice terra out when you have white terra on the field. Right. Her. Right, yeah. Or or the opposite either, either way. Right. So you have ways to get rid of like Guy, for example. Like it traditionally gives like the ice dex headaches. Mm -hmm. Um in Earth, uh in this deck particularly you have Hectatonchir, which is yeah. also gave uh Angel Nightmares, as I was like, <laughs> yeah. just fought my guy, I would, I would like play my vein and I would just fight my 8k against his 7k's like every turn. It was <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's really interesting. Uh, Vanille is pretty absurd. Um, I'm, I, I, I want to say it's like one of the best cards from Opus One to break out for me in testing so far. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all from Vince. Um, I think Vince. Was, Vince is the first person I saw playing. I think list. it was Vince who was telling me about Vanille. He's like, like, because I was talking to him about the ice. Yes. Guy. Or yeah, it won. Yeah, like shout that. out to Vince because Vince is the one who got me on that card. Um, right, and it's very good. It was the Wind Earth deck when I was tweaking that battle on the list. Okay, he's like, dude, just put the needles in and you'll love it. I'm like, eh, yeah, yeah, well, but yeah, that's and De and Delita. Um, the thing about Delita is and we're gonna get to this topic too about like net decking and, and, and information, right? So information travels so fast through Final Fantasy, it's unbelievable. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was talking to Vince on Saturday night about some particular cards. Um, I got messaged by Matthew Akimoto the very next day about the same cards. Okay, and then during the podcast, um, Robert brought up that he liked those cards. Mm -hmm. You know, we're talking about from California to the UK all the way down to Australia. <laughs> like that's how quick the information travels. Internet. <laughs> yes, but it's also. Something to take in mind is, is also that these are the best players in the world, right? Those guys are going to come to a similar conclusion right. at the end of the day. Right. The deck list and stuff aren't going to be perfect 50-50 matches, um, but they're going to come to... Look, people are going to realize Emperor is good. You know, there's no doubt. Yeah. You know, when you have a card as powerful as Delita, like, people are going to pick up Vanilla, like... Vince is the first person that brought it to me, but I have no doubt that other pe it's on other people's radar right, and yeah. they will pick it up. They're just looking at cards like, oh, hey, what can I stem the bleeding of like killing my own guys? Oh, this card comes right back. Let's do that. Like, yeah. You're already yeah. wanting to play the Hecatons because you're playing Earth. So, right, right. Yeah, it makes sense. Right, and, and that brings me to the point of like a lot of people, um, and this isn't a Final Fantasy problem, this is a TCG game problem where people are afraid to net deck. Mm -hmm. And I will say that the. The first thing that I always do is look at an online desk right. list and then change it to my preferences. The Water Earth deck that I won with started out just as a Mono Water deck that I literally copied 50 for 50. Right. Um, and I was like, well, you know, I kind of want to play Shantoto. I've been talking <laughs> with Chris Matiski a lot and he's like, oh, Shantoto this, Shantoto this. He loves Shantoto. 
I was like, well, maybe I can make this work in the that list, right? So I start playing that list. And you went to like ice, earth, water at one point. At one point, yeah, yeah. And you cut the ice. And I still think that's good. And but you still want to play it. <laughs> I, yeah, I, still, I still want to play it, but I want it to be consistent. And so I played Shantoto, right? And I really liked my list. I liked it quite a bit, right? Fast forward to two weeks after my list is posted, and the guy in Japan starts playing almost the same list, except for he added Lena, where I had cut Lena. Um, and that was to my mistake because Lena with, with Realm and Knight was pretty good. Especially when you have Glided or also get back to Knights. Like, right. your opponent's going to get real sick of Knight very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and, and when I switched back over to his version, I found that Knight was insane. And mm -hmm. was like, oh man, like, even it's though I... an economic card. Like, yes. You know. Like, even though I did well in that event, like, how much easier would the event, event been if I had Knight in my deck? And Gladiator. Because you didn't have any Gladiators back then, right? I did. You did? I had Gladiator to get back Dark Knight. In the uh, summer series, I, think I, so. I have to look at my list. I thought you changed it after. I, I might have changed it because I I you gave me the list to play every night. I switched it yeah. Correct, right? It definitely was no. Right. right. So, what are your guys' thoughts on that? On, on the net decking in general? Um, there we had some issues with it over the week, <laughs> where someone's list got out. Um, yeah. They weren't to his to his credit. He wasn't properly credited where he right. should have been. Um, and I, if, and I think it's hard then, to keep track of that. Obviously. It is. Like I understand course the feeling behind it like hey obviously it came from a source yeah the source should be credited but at the same time it's really hard to track that especially in a game like this we, we have four sets it's fairly easy to come to a 45 47 out of 50 match with somebody else when you say all right if i told you to go build ice fire discard and you go to ice fire discard you're both gonna have three genesis three lock i, I mean i would have thought that out but like haste effects like eventually you tweak and tweak, and you're going to come up to something generally optimal. Okay, yeah. Uh, people are going to choose their cute cards at one point. Like, I try to jam yeah. Cactor in every win deck kind of thing. Which, well, Cactor's like, not cute. Cactor's good. Cactor is good, good, but I put in, like, the Ice Earth deck. Yeah. I put it in there just to get it back with Sid because I think that's cute. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. That's, <laughs> cute. <laughs> that's where we go from cute to good and good to cute. <laughs> yes. Um, but, uh, point is, you're going to have a mostly identical. Okay. And like in that type of list, you're going to come up with a, like, oh, I need card advantage. Let's play Zidane. How do I turn Zidane on? I have a nice fire. Hmm. Let's put Vivi in. Like, the, like that little package was a big part of the, hey, obviously this came from me thing. Side so, note, stop cutting Vivi's from your fire list. Yeah. Cards not anyway. yeah, yeah. So I just, I get it, but at the same time, there's no shame in that decking. Tweak it to what you want. I would never say just like jam 50 and don't think about it. Like you got to give it thought. Okay. Um, because otherwise you might see a card that like, you draw a card and like, huh, uh, why is this in here? Just pitch it. <laughs> so, and, and, and this is again going back to like inf how, how fast information travels. Yeah. Um, Zach showed up uh, at the, our local event with a fire lightning deck that he had gotten from California. I know, I got it from uh, right? uh, Devin Welsbacher. So he was one of the guys that went to Worlds. Uh, okay. He, he's the brother of the guy who like made FF decks. Okay. So I'm in their chat. Um, and he said he, he went undefeated. He went to uh, Michigan. To okay. Okay. Like so he's from Michigan. All those guys. Okay. Um, well, I don't, I don't know if he's from Michigan, but he, okay. was, he was there to play. And he went 5-0 in the Swiss, and he only lost one match in the top uh, four, which were best of threes. Okay. Um, he lost one to Matt Cosmer on, with water, I think he was. But he won the whole game. Okay. Um, with this list. Okay. So Zach plays that list. Um, I, I, I think the deck is, is cute, <clears throat> and, I, and I like a lot of things that's going on. So... So I ask him for the list. He sends me a list. Whether he sent me a list or not, it wouldn't matter because it's on FF decks and it was like the number yeah. three or four deck. Yeah. Um, so I immediately make some changes. Uh, like I cut the Emperor for Sephiroth, which I think is insane. It's a great way to deal with Minwoo. I played it today, yeah. Yeah, it's a great way to deal with some other things. Um, when I And I took this list and then, so, and I was testing with Chris Matiski from over in Australia mm -hmm. and then we had uh, Mr. Cool. Alex was watching our game and like, yeah. so he was asking me some questions on the list, like what's this for? And, and what is this for? Yeah. And then my answer was very honestly, like, uh, you know, I don't know. It's not, it's not my list. Right. I, I took this list from Zach, who took it from someone else. Yeah. Um, but that's just how, that's just how yeah. things are going to be, right? We live in the information age. Yeah. Like, information travels, like you said, so fast. And, like, it's, it's like a game of telephone. Yeah. You sit there, I got this from this guy, and he said this and that. Check this out for people later. Well, yeah. And, and it's, it's like Chris had told me, oh, I'm really in on this Ice Earth deck. It's very mm -hmm. good. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris Matisse, for those who don't know, he's his own YouTube channel. You guys need to check it out. Chicago? Yeah. Um, so he had told me, I'm really in on this Ice Earth deck. Um, I was like, oh, it sounds good. We tested it a little bit. 
next thing you know, I got messages from someone else like, oh, I really think Ice Earth could be good. They're looking at playing it. Um, I see some other posts about Ice Earth being, becoming really good. I mean, this is, a lot of this information is traveling very fast. Right. Um, you know, I, I got a message from Matthew Okonoto who's like, hey, what do you think is going to win? I was like, uh, Ice Earth could be good. He's like, oh yeah, that could be really good. Chris, is Chris on that still? And it's like, yeah. you know, like, that's how fast information yeah. travels. And, and there's always those names in the community that pop. Yes, yeah. Like, Chris yeah. is always ask, answering ruling questions. Yeah. Yeah. Okimoto's always posting about the California events. Yeah. You and I are trying to be as active as we can for anything going on in Florida, along yeah. with, like, Max and up in Jacksonville. Foils. Neil yeah, Foils. 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 Uh, <laughs> uh, we got, obviously, Cosmo runs the group. Yeah. So, like, there's all these names you know. Vince is, like, the US or the Australian uh, champion. Yeah. And he's vocal. He always has, like, cool list going around. Yeah. So, yeah, it's very... Yeah, Vince there's has definitely the, names that you should write. Yeah, Vince has the coolest list going. Yeah. Like, Vince, Vince takes these, like, weird decks and just makes them, like... Back. Vince will take, like... The ham sandwich and make it like gourmet. <laughs> that, that's what happens. Like, like ham sandwich, make it a meatball sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, seriously, Put like some his, on it. his <laughs> his bulba is less was for soy was out of this world. That was insane. I love yeah. that. Yeah. So, so yeah, you sent me a picture a couple like weeks ago where you're like. I see why you like this list, and it's got, you had the geese and the shelk and the ephemeral with the frisoya in hand. Oh, is that the one that I play against also? Yeah. With my own global, yeah. Yeah. So I would actually updated it and made an Opus 4 list with Did you? very similar, except for it had standard units. Sure. And it had, uh, to get back to gold but then it had Warrior of Light, um, the blue the blue drop, uh, so you could devout back in that guy during combat. As a combat trick? Yes. Oh, it was, yes, it was actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm something like 6-0 with the list. Um, definitely, you will not see me ever playing the deck because I am scared of Una H. No, yeah, yeah I'm not playing. Yeah. That. But it is a sweet deck, and if you want something fun to play, hit me up about that list. I'll send you a list about gold best standard units. Basically, I literally copied Vince's list and made it standard units and added a warrior play. Yeah. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. Um, you have Cubulus as a target. So yeah, like three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cards, yeah. yeah. Cards, cards, so I had like three. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, um, and they they do count each other. That's they important do. to know. Um, I like fleeting flashes, kind of. Yeah. Like, if you have one thing. So, oh, and also Bobby's one. Yes. Bobby's yeah. is good, too, yeah. Because he's that a is, Oh, yeah. yeah. One of, I, I stack. Yeah. yeah. So, the other thing is, um, right now, we have, like, Mono Water is, like, doing very well, right. to say the least. Um, it's the comfort pick, I think. Right, right. right. The, the Breakstone did a video on their pick of the week was Tonberries. I'm just going to say, the... Tonberries was the least important thing about their video. <laughs> they did a really great job of highlighting the ways to beat Mono Water. Go check out that video. Um, I'm not going to rehash everything they said, but basically they, they, they tell you how to beat Mono Water, and their advice is spot on. It is how I beat Mono Water even when not running the decks that they were talking about. There's a very simple strategy, and it boils down to play your forwards early and as fast as you can. Um, as aggressively as you can. Don't let them set up Cognoso plays against you. Well, that's like uh, when I was against you and I actually, like, we, we had a matchup where it was really difficult for me. I forget what I was playing. But we played again in a top four and I just completely flipped what I was doing and I ended up beating Wind lighting. Yep. Was that's it wind lighting? It was lighting. So yeah. I played, like, instead of trying to go for, like, my five backup setup and like, yeah. start controlling, I was like, you know what? Jam, jam, jam. I ended up winning. Just also like, Emperor. Emperor. Yeah, I, I, you had Emperor and I didn't join well, that, that, yeah. that, 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 that also <laughs> <helps>. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, but at first you yeah. got I got you like four damage. I just made yep. it really awkward. And then uh, Six Stages Gaming just did a video on Jesse, um, mm -hmm. Jesse's girl. But Jesse is. Did they play the, that in the video? No. I'm, <laughs> so Jesse is the backup that reduces. Uh, well, there's two Jesses. So one goes against Cloud, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, one Jesse. He goes against yeah. Final Fantasy Seven. It's character. a tutor. Yeah. 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 She gets a tutor. Yeah. Um. Gets a four, right? Final Fantasy Seven four. That's before. I believe seven four. Right. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Four. And the, the back the other backup from Opus Four reduces the the cost of your clouds and barracks. It's actually very very and good. And it's a two drop. And it's a two that's, drop. That's the key. I yeah. Think yeah. If so you can drop, play it on turn two, play a Tifa haste, and then just play your cloud H and hit something for seven k, or, or you know hopefully do that in the other order. So play your Tifa, then play your cloud H, hit for seven k, then attack with your Tifa. Yeah. Um, you mean like turn one one backup? Yeah. And then turn two play Jesse. On the draw, you just turn. play all three. Yeah. Um, and that, that actually seems very good. Like, you have a backup, you've killed their forward if they had one, and you have two guys. Yeah. Um, and they have one damage. 
Yeah. And because of the teeth, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 I think it seems pretty reasonable. Yeah. You know, right. as far as starts go. I think it definitely um, helps that light cloud really push its edge over the other clouds. Yeah, so yeah. six, six yeah. stages yeah. gaming. Check them out. Um, what else? So let, let's talk real quick. I want to talk about a little bit about uh, deck building. Um, when you're building a deck, for those people that are, are new at deck building, what are you looking for? So let's say you start from scratch. Now, I know I know you had a discussion you, before. Yes. Yes. But I'm more specifically looking for what are you like like let's let's talk about numbers, right? Okay. Like so you're building a deck from scratch. All right. When you start with you I know you, you like huge interactions, right? Usually. Yeah. So you're going to start with those cards and then build probably your backups from there. Yeah, I always go core strategy. Yeah. Fill out backups, fill out forwards. Actually, I kind of do a mix of summers and or summons and monsters now just because Sure, well, yeah. yeah. And then I go forwards, and then when I see I only have 15 forwards, because I put 20 summons in the deck, I cut some of those and put more forwards. <laughs> okay. And, and how many how many games do you play with that list before changing it? Uh, usually I sit there and tweak it for a while. Just I'll get to, I'll put three of as everything. Sure, okay. So I'll three of these, and I'm like, all right, I want this card. All right, now what's the worst card here? I cut one of those, go down to two and two or something. Like, okay. Uh, tweak and tweak and tweak, and I'll, I'll do a lot of draw samples on FF decks just to see if I can curve out at all. Okay. And then um, tweak from there, and then I'll Locals or something else, and now mm -hmm. I'm going to start doing a lot more rock again because I want to have that extra time without having to drive almost an hour to play. So. Yeah. What about you, Angel? It's pretty much almost the same thing. I just see one card that I want to play, and I'll go around that card. Pretty okay. much. Like Give me when, a example. when when um, Opal Sword uh, released, uh, I saw Mega Chocobo. I was like, this card is amazing. And, like I love it at first. It's like, yeah, really and it's really good. Um, I was like. I'm gonna do something with this part, and yeah. then I start playing stuff to do and keep the guys do. So you start with lightning ice, right? Um, <laughs> no, I started mono ice first. Okay. Oh, you uh, mono ice. Because yeah, I saw, rogue. yeah, I, okay. I saw, I saw the uh, ghoul monster. Yeah. And I was like, this card is amazing. He yeah. doesn't break. It's just like dolls, and you can play the same turn you play. You can just do something. Yeah, ghouls nuts. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, I went with that. Also play um, all the things like you know, of course, you know, to just dole and, and and be. Uh, like, uh, threatening pretty much because they see we know it's like, oh, I, I don't want to do anything because yeah. I guess, my dice I guess decks like Mono Earth where they have all 10k's, you're like, yeah, so we for Noah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, that, that's <laughs> like, for, yeah, pretty or, much, or take a beat, or, or just like just leave her there just to block, and then like most of the time it's like, no, I don't want to block, especially when they see Mecha Choco, it's like, no, I don't want to do it. But then I, I switched to the Lightning Ice because I saw the Lightning. Has a lot of dull potential as well, especially okay. with the Lightning Legend, the Fighter new one. Yeah, um, she's good. super good. I love it. Like I thought she was horrible. I'm like, man, it's a lot of investment no, for seven no. K. Like, especially but that, how easy it is to turn on the yeah. dulling. She's very, you, you very can you can do more. The thing is, is that both, both five drop lightnings are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that they both have so much synergy with one another because of their specials. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Quote special, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. One of the special ones just naturally ability, but <laughs> yeah. basically a special thing. Right, so they're they're yeah. they're really really good. Yeah. But now you're now you're on the fire ice where you get the same effect, but you get Saban to make sure your mecha jar doesn't yeah, break. Exactly, which is so it's nice. nice. Yeah, because I can just go for free pretty much and destroy something. I know he's not gonna die, right. and I still get to break something. Mm -hmm. So right. even if it blocks, it's okay. Like, At that point, it's more of a removal spell. Exactly, like, pretty much. So yeah. right. put him in. Yeah, exactly. Now, and uh, I, I was thinking that like one thing I think people are neglecting on are their backups. Um, In what like, capacity? I'm seeing like a lot of decks with like 16 backups. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. 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 Most of my lists are now at least 17. Right, right. I think 17 is my bare minimum. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm at. Um, 18 is where I'm comfortable, and that's because I went from wanting I wanted my minimum was seven two drop backups. I'm just playing ten. <laughs> yeah. So now my minimum is nine, oh, and I'm aiming for ten to twelve. Mm -hmm. And what I'm noticing is like it just, it's just, there's nothing sweeter than going like turn one, backup, and then turn two three, and then turn three playing a free backup, or turn one double backup, turn two playing a free backup. That's usually where. Especially in these decks where you're running Shantoto. Yeah. Because I have no way. Turn three, ten, Shantoto gets aggressive decks, or you just have it ready at some point. Right. Or, or if you're playing the ice deck with Shantoto. You have like the turn four Shantoto plus the Vauda, like that's just gross. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so especially you, know, you get like Celeste for example, so you can just lock down their backup. So if you're if you're already ahead backups, mm -hmm. things like Celeste are just gonna like put yeah. you way way further ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is there anything else that we want to cover for today's episode? Specifically, I think I think we touched on everything. I definitely want to talk about the connect deck, deck building topic, but I think we covered that. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Angel. Um, well, it's more about locally. Sure. I just feel like we, I don't know, I, I know I'm not being like too active on making people just, you know, go and play, but I feel like we get them behind locally in like events. Like not that sure. many people are showing up. Sure, so if we like, fired with only eight people, for example, yeah. on Friday. That's, I think that's like, the first time I played on a 30 round uh, yeah, tournament. So, yeah, I think it, it's it, the first it felt time. very bad, right? Yeah, and yeah. it felt like worse everybody. Because I know people, a lot of people, you know, had stuff to do. Yeah, yesterday I couldn't make it. But, just had way yeah. too much cleaning to do at home and things to take care of. Yeah. No, no excuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, the yeah, first but, week I've missed, besides when I was on vacation. <laughs> that, and that is, that is fair. But yeah. but I agree with Angel. I think we're seeing, like, uh, I, I don't want to blame, I don't want to blame Dragon Ball S. I've, I've done it a lot. Cause yeah. the game, well, I'm sure the game's really cool, it, but. I think part of it, too, is we've seen a couple people get really discouraged when they lose. Yep. And I think, like, I've always had the mentality of, like, if I lose, I'm like, keep beating my butt until I can beat you. Like, yeah, but when other people just, it through. Right, and yeah. then other people yeah. are kind of like, hey, I want to show up and have some fun and play games, but then they get yeah. demolished because we test so much. We, yeah, we, and in Tampa, we, it, we are very competitive. Make some yeah. feel bad moments, um, I think. That's definitely. Yeah, I remember my first time started playing the game was, like, a week or two after the hurricane. Okay. Um, Irma, and then um, I played with a starter deck, the yeah. Final Fantasy VII. No, I remember you and Georgia showed up and we beat you guys into the yeah. game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The yeah. first game I played ever was with Seth. Yeah. Uh, he was playing uh, a Mono Earth, I think it was. Uh, and I was like, I don't remember. Yeah, it was it was Mono Earth. I, I remember it because it was yeah, my first you're, game. You were playing Angus. Yeah. It, yeah. Oh, wait, no. That was, um, was that the Earth Fire? Because Angus you was had, playing you had, stuff. Uh, Kimari also. You were playing Kimari, the forward that copies the S evolution for someone. I was? Also, yeah. Yes, you were playing it. Yeah. And you actually used it against me. I was like, oh. Oh! This I know, I was playing uh, Mono Earth with Rydia, the forward yeah. Rydia. Yeah. Because yeah. I wanted to just white lords. And I was playing yeah. uh, like 12 or 13 summons. I had like yeah. Carbuncle. So I take back everything about Tampa being competitive. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. but, then, but yeah, the thing is, like, I, I can't lose and I just want to get better. That's why yeah. I show up every single time. And mainly, I want to show the local, like for example, our store, that we want to make the game big. You know, that yeah. we want to grow the community. Because mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel like they kind of iffy about the Final Fantasy. They think like it's not going anywhere. That's how that is think. a problem, right? Like a lot of people that are wanting to. The other thing is, is I have like four or five friends, for example, that have bought into the game. They even own cards. They own boxes, and they've never showed up for an event yet. Which, um, which, they're busy. Uh, yeah. Um, they're busy. I get it. But, yeah. But like, uh, we need. The thing is, is that there's not a lot of incentive for these players. Not from Square Enix and not from Cool Stuff Games. Yeah. And maybe that's something that we need to handle. Um, I know Max did like a round table, like where they went to dinner and they talked about ways to get people to show up and, and play that. I think that's something we can definitely discuss. Maybe yeah. you guys at home. That's something you guys can talk about. Um, I think maybe as players, there's more that we could be doing. Yeah. Um. To get it to happen, I know, like, even for example, like they were talking about doing a Final Fantasy draft for Octagon. Like, who who you think's gonna win? Blah blah blah. And I was yeah, like, yeah. If you guys want to do this draft, I I, I told um, who 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 that's talking? I think it was Timoto, right? Was talking about. Um, yeah, talking about Timoto. I I said if you want to if you want to organize it, I will literally provide the price for it. I will pay for it. I will make it happen. I think <laughs> it's that cool of an yeah, idea. Yeah, it's yeah. Cool. Um, so I think he yeah. wants to start with Opus, the the next one, Octagon Five of it. Um, but yeah. Maybe there's something that we can be doing within our community. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know that we're going to travel. Well, I don't know if you guys are, but like I'm going to try to take a group next Saturday yeah. to the event over in Clearwater to kind of support that team, that group. And maybe those guys can start coming up here to support yeah. us on Friday nights. I know Monday is maybe a lot to ask for. Right. Um, and all that, yeah. So, yeah. So maybe there's some more that the, the more active community that we can do. Um, exactly. I haven't, I haven't missed like a there's like random music yeah. going on. Uh, I haven't missed a Monday or a Friday yet. Yeah. I'm like, you know. Yeah. I'm trying my best to be there all the time to play. Um, I know a lot of people have responsibilities that can happen all the time. But I do think it's important that we show up as often as possible because 
there are, there are nights where we fire with like eight people, but two new people showed up. And it's like, right, and if, if, where are those if, other two people? Yeah, yeah. well, if one of us didn't show up, they would have fired. Yeah. Those new yeah, people would have got to play. Yeah, yeah. And the cool thing is though, like, there's at least three new people that have come in the past like two weeks. Yeah. Or so that I've been helping, ta- I've been talking to, and he actually came uh, last on uh, Monday. Uh, yeah, he played. He played. He played. Um, so that was Chad, right? Chad, yep. Yeah. So and he's fairly good. I mean, he went like what two two. Almost, yeah. almost 3 1 in this first event. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, and his deck wasn't completely off- optimized or anything. He was playing basically the 13 starter deck just with. I gave him some mannequins to put in and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and 2 2 is pretty good for your first event. Right. Um, so that was really exciting. Especially against like people who've been playing for months and months and months. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Like all of us. So. Yeah. Alright, so is it, I think we've covered pretty much everything, yeah. right? Okay. Um, yeah. If you're running an event or you have something special that you want us to talk about, um, to give mm-hmm. a shout out, let us know, please. Yep. But for now, I just want to one more shout out. Uh, Six Stage Gaming, like watch their their videos. Uh, the the Breakdown is making videos. Joseph Fear is making awesome videos. Yeah. Um, I really like Joe. He's, he's cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, the most like, genuine guy. <laughs> yeah, super nice guy. Um, <laughs> The, the 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 Crystal Tower, they, their new podcast just came out. That's really cool. Really exciting to listen to. I really like listening to them. Um, just a whole lot of the, the Wolfgang James. His yeah. videos are awesome. If you haven't seen his videos, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh my gosh, like watching him like walk into his card shop, like he's like what up guys? He's like filming the whole thing. Like that's really cool to me. Um, so yeah, if you have if if you're producing content, uh, please let us know. We'd love to talk to you about it. Um, and then for some of you guys that are watching from Tampa, we'll see you Monday at Cool Stuff yep. at 7.30. Um, for those of you in Kansas or traveling to the next teacup, we'll see you then. And anybody um, who can try to make it, try to make it. Yes. The bigger we make these petite events, the more support we'll get from exactly. Square. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Super excited. Uh, I'm Sam Riley. Zach Brown. Andrew Garcia. And we'll see you guys later.